Folks, poet Edgar Albert Guest has a wonderful reminder for you to go home with a smile and not carry the burdens of the workplace back home with you. This was relevant a hundred years ago and I believe even more relevant today when the boundaries between our homes and offices have blurred. Home is the place where the laughter should ring and man should be found at his best. Let the cares of the day be as great as they may the night has been fashioned for rest. So leave at the door when the toiling is over, all the burdens of work time behind, and just be a dad to your girl or your lad, a dad of the rollicking kind. The office is made for the tasks you must face. It is built for the work you must do. You may sit there and sigh as your cares pile up high, and no one may criticize you. You may worry and fret as you think of your debt. You may grumble when plans go astray. But when it comes night and you shut your desk tight, don't carry the burdens away. Don't carry the burdens away. Keep daytime for toil and the nighttime for play. Work as hard as you choose in the town. But when the day ends and darkness descends, just forget that you're wearing a frown. Go home with a smile. Go home with a smile or you'll find it worthwhile. Go home light of heart and of mind. Go home and be glad that you're loved as a dad, a dad of the fun-loving kind. Go home and be glad that you're loved as a dad, a dad of the fun-loving kind. Friends, an old Zen proverb goes something like this. Before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. There will always be stuff that needs to be done. Always. Learn to enjoy the journey. I'll leave you with this quote from Albert Schweitzer who wrote, In the hopes of reaching the moon, men fail to see the flowers that blossom at their feet. In the hopes of reaching the moon, men fail to see the flowers that blossom at their feet. There's a lot of magic, my friends, in the little things in life. Enjoy them and bye-bye for now.